In recent times, UFOs have captured unprecedented attention, penetrating various spheres of society, from mainstream media to political circles and scientific communities. The surge in interest reached a crescendo after a series of high-profile incidents, including the shooting down of unidentified aerial vehicles earlier this year. Notably, even in academia, where one might expect skepticism, there is a surprising level of engagement with UFO research. A groundbreaking study, Perceptions of the Power of Unidentified Aerial Phenomena, published in Humanities, Social Sciences, Communications, sheds light on this phenomenon. Conducted by social scientist Marissa Yingling, historian Charlton Yingling, and educational researcher Bethany Bell, the study surveyed over 39,000 academic researchers across 144 universities in the United States. Despite the stigma associated with UFOs, 1460 respondents participated, revealing a substantial interest among scholars. The findings uncovered a profound willingness among educators from diverse disciplines to cautiously engage with the UFO issue, while only fours reported conducting academic research on UAPs. A staggering 36 expressed interest expressed interest in the subject. Crucially, 43 indicated they would be more involved if renowned academics in their respective fields participated and 55 cited funding as a significant barrier to deeper involvement. Personal experiences with UFOs emerged as a compelling aspect of the study. Shockingly, nearly one in five university scientists reported first-hand encounters with UFOs. Detailed accounts ranged from sightings dating back decades to encounters witnessed by close acquaintances. Despite their reluctance to disclose such experiences due to societal stigma, 64 respondents deemed it very important or absolutely essential for academia to delve into UFO research. The study's implications extend beyond academia. It underscores the multidisciplinary nature of UAP research, highlighting the potential contributions of various fields, including the humanities, social sciences, arts, and sciences. Moreover, it raises critical questions about the role of academia in evaluating UOP information, challenging prevailing narratives, and mitigating self-censorship. As the study suggests, the imperative for further UFO studies transcends academic interests. It pertains to humanity at large. While overcoming stigma and securing resources remain formidable challenges, the pursuit of truth demands scholarly engagement. The study's probing questions resonate beyond academia, prompting reflection on the forces shaping public discourse and policy decisions surrounding unidentified aerial phenomena. In essence, the study signals a call to action advocating for a more robust and inclusive approach to UOP research. It underscores the need for transparency, independent inquiry, and interdisciplinary collaboration in unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos. Whether in classrooms, laboratories, or legislative chambers, the quest for understanding demands the full engagement of scholars and society alike.